First of all, I just want to apologise for how all over the place this video is going to be. There were a lot of bits and pieces that I kept coming across, and I had to write them somewhere. And as I was writing these notes up, I just kept finding more and more stuff. I haven't drawn a final conclusion on this case. However, I'm hoping with the help of this video, some things can be pieced together fully. Some information comes from various reddit posts and forums, and some of it is stuff that I've actually looked into myself, regarding the identity of this man we're about to talk about in this video. And I can't blame you if you still come out of this video confused by the end, because it is a very confusing case. So with that, enjoy the video. When you think of doctors, you might think of somebody who helps somebody else, be it physically or mentally. Today, we're going to talk about one particular doctor. A doctor with a certain authority, with access to fetuses and the corpses of dead children. This man is known as Dr. Gloves. Dr. Gloves was either an autopsy tech or a mortician, possibly based in a hospital in Glendale, California. But who is this man? Why does he treat the corpses of children, as well as possibly dying children, the way that he does? And what do these pictures that we're about to talk about today contain? Now before we get into this video, the warning. This video will contain descriptions of gore and child abuse. The only thing we can really do is dive into this case straight into the deep end. Dr. Gloves posted numerous pictures onto a gore forum. This gore forum no longer exists. However, an archive of the post's content can still be found. Now these pictures weren't your average gore pictures, shall we say. There were no car crashes, beheadings, amputated limbs or anything of the sort. Dr. Gloves posted pictures of himself abusing the corpses of children, as well as what looked like sick or terminally ill children. There are many images that Dr. Gloves posted. Most of these images include either dead newborns or fetuses. A lot of the images include Dr. Gloves holding the newborn and fetus by their necks, posing towards the camera. Some of the pictures are of the hearts and brains of newborn children and children. Some of them are a matter of days or weeks old, some are stillborns, and some are aborted or developing fetuses. The pictures are very high quality, as if they were done with a lot of time and effort put into them, which gives us the idea that this man is possibly a child mortician, spending a lot of time alone with the corpses of young people. His face can never be seen in any of the pictures, and communities are still trying to work out who the man is. There's only one or two pictures of him that include his face, and even then, his face is still covered with what looks to be a gimp mask. As you get to the end of the pictures of newborns and fetuses, there's also another section. This one features terminally ill children, some of them dying on life support or dead. 
Again, the pictures usually include doctor gloves wrapping his hand around the necks of these children, with him giving us signs such as thumbs up next to the corpses of these kids, or pretending he's doing something funny with them, such as sticking his fingers onto their noses and holding the nose down. One particular set of six images appears to be a girl in a pink top who looks like she's very much alive. On two of these pictures, his hands are wrapped around her face. Now apparently the images of Dr. Gloves putting his hands over the faces of these dying children aren't actually him. However, this doesn't make the Dr. Gloves situation any less disturbing. The most disturbing thing about these photos is that given how bad the things are that Dr. Gloves posted onto an online public forum, it's difficult and disturbing to think about what he may be up to with these corpses when the cameras aren't rolling. Now apparently these images have been sent to the FBI once before. The FBI looked into them. It's apparent that while these images taken by Dr. Gloves are in fact disturbing, disgusting and immoral, no illegal activity was technically done by Dr. Gloves himself. I believe that the case was dropped by the FBI and nothing was done about him ever since. In conclusion, I have tried to find clues about where this could take place. I've looked at each hospital in Glendale, California, yet I've found nothing. No similar flaws, no similar doors, no clues in any of these hospitals that directly insinuate that these immoral, disgusting pictures were taken in a hospital in Glendale, California. The rooms that these pictures are taken in are all dirty, unclean and unsanitary and look somewhat abandoned, which makes me think that these pictures aren't taken in a professional hospital at all, but rather somewhere old and abandoned, or maybe not even in Glendale, California at all. It is likely that the area is based within the US or Canada. Due to the electrical outlets on the wall, the rooms that the pictures are taken in are marked up, with one particular clue being room 37B. However, I can imagine that this will never round up to anything, as there are probably many, many rooms in the world known as 37B. Now this particular area looks like a morgue, there are two other areas that the pictures are taken in. I've also looked for clues regarding the type of gloves that Dr. Gloves wears. For example, Protexis latex gloves, which are made by a company called Cardinal Health. Unfortunately, again, this was just clutching at straws and hoping for a slight breakthrough. You'd have to know the hospitals that they supply to, and even then, if there were a list, there'd be the matter of exploring every single hospital or facility that this company supply to. Therefore, there is very little chance of coming to a conclusion using this method. All in all, it seems like the only major clue that we have is that this could be from a hospital in Glendale, California. If that's the case, however, then why can't any articles regarding the identity of this man be found? There's rumours that the man's name is Edvin Balians, including a name tag of the same name on one of the pictures. But you'd have thought that with this evidence of this particular man in a particular hospital in Glendale, California, the FBI would have at least looked into this, or at least into the name Edvin Balliance. And then an idea came into my head. I looked up the name Edvin Balliance and 
surely enough, Glendale Memorial Hospital came up. Dignity Health, but why? I only typed the name of this man into Google in the hopes of finding an article. And there was no article. Is this where people were getting the clues from? Looking through the list of doctors on this website. There's nothing that says that this man works here. There is, however, a location for a man named Edwin Balliants. Located in Glendale, California. So all in all, we have a location, a name, possible grounds for an investigation. There's only one problem. Remember the name tag. This may not have even been the real name of Dr. Gloves. It's entirely likely that this isn't the name of the man behind the gimp mask and the gloves. And that takes us back to square one. But who is this man? Why does he treat the corpses of children, as well as possibly dying children, the way that he does? And that's all I have to say about that. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.